Hello my friends, I got a Wreck This journal and I need to tell you that I was inspired by two people that I follow on YouTube. The first person that I ever saw work in a Wreck This journal was Soleil of Soleil and Craft. And then the second person that I saw was Patty of Possum Patty. And I, I actually wanted to get one a few years ago when I first saw Soleil do it, but then when I recently saw Possum Patty start to share some videos of her working in hers that really tilted the scales for me all the way and I decided I needed to get one because it just looked so fun and so here we are and I'm gonna bring you along with some of the activities that are in this journal this first page it wants to it wants you to fill in who the book belongs to and then it tells you to write your name in white write it in color write it illegibly in tiny letters, uh, write it backwards, write it faintly, and then it says to write your name using large letters. In the upper left hand corner it says this is a secret message just for you. This is a good temporary hiding place. Go find something to stash here. So I wrote myself a little note to stash there, just a little reminder to myself. And it says, always feed your soul with creativity. Below that, it says, place your mug here. And that could be taken two ways. Your actual mug that perhaps you're drinking from, or sometimes we call our face our mug. So I'm leaving that blank for now while I decide how I want to work on that. In the left-hand corner, it says, dip this corner in liquid. So I got a bowl of water and dipped it in there. Didn't really affect the journal at all, but I did it. Now... The next one said rub here with a dirty finger, so I just put my finger in some ink and then just smudged it on there. It says cut two holes here for peeking at people. Now you are a spy. So I went ahead and I cut the holes and then I had Andrew take a picture of me. You might wonder why I'm working in this journal and it's because, well, I thought it would be fun. And sometimes I think and I could probably speak for others as well, but I'm just gonna speak for myself. I think I can get caught up in performance and um, just really hyper-focusing on, you know, doing, like say, certain journals or certain things. And that over time can start to feel a little bit like pressure, even though I love doing it. So that's why I'm doing this journal, to do something different and to just have fun. So we've got some instructions here and one was to cut out a little square and it says, take this with you always. And then the other said, place your snack here while you're reading. <laughs> so that is my gluten-free Oreo cookie and I am placing it there. And then right next to that, it says, make the smallest drawing in the world here. Well, it's probably not the smallest drawing, but it is pretty small. We have half of a house, we have a little apple tree, and then I added some grass. On the bottom it says you can use this cover as a privacy wall when you need it. And I don't think I'll need it, but I'll keep it in mind. Fortunately for me, my desk that I work at, I have a L-shaped uh, work area, but my primary space is right in front of a window, right into my backyard. So. It's pretty private, <laughs> which is really nice. As I was working on a few of these things and doing the little drawing and all that, I was thinking about that circle that says, place your mug here. And I decided to place my cup there. <laughs> you know, because again, we could take that, we could take that two different ways. So I decided to just go ahead and use it for a spot for my cup. I wanted to read to you real quick the warning that's at the top of this page. It says, during the process of this book, you will get dirty. You may find yourself covered in paint or any other number of foreign substances. You will get wet. You may be asked to do things you question. You may grieve for the perfect state that you found the book in. You may begin to see creative destruction everywhere. You may begin to live more recklessly. And that, my friends, is the essence of why I'm doing this journal. So this page is pretty simple. Add your own number. So I added the number 52. This page in black says crack the spine and we are getting ready to do that. And I grabbed a rolling pin and that's how we're gonna go for it. 
And I wanted to let you know that I read the author said that is most people have the most difficulty cracking the spine. It wasn't a problem for me, but for some people, apparently that's an issue. So I'm just really working that thing, <laughs> bending it. It's laying pretty flat. So I think I cracked it. This next page again, pretty easy. It says color this page red on purpose. <laughs> So that's what I did. That's what I'm doing here. I'm going to go at it all different kinds of ways. I decided I'd go ahead and use some markers that I thought were starting to run out of ink. I thought it would be a good way to check them. And that first one that I used was pretty light. So I went ahead and I threw that in the trash. I think the rest of these end up being fine. But I'm just going to go at this page and color it red. And that's going to be it for this video. Maybe you want to just be, you know, free do something fun, do something for yourself. Uh, and maybe you wanna join in on Wreck This Journal. And if you wanna wreck along with me, I wanna let you know that I got this on Amazon. I'll be sure to link that in my description box in case you feel inspired to get wrecking. Well, friends, you know I always appreciate you spending some time with me. Thanks for watching, see you soon.